had stated, if you follow me on Instagram, I was going to share the foundation pages from my December daily of 2019. So let's get started. First off, this album is actually from Citrus Twist. It's a six and a half by nine and and a half almost um size album this year i chose this because i wanted to uh, make sure that i didn't have something that would really overwhelm me but i know that being my family is pretty large we're a family of six i would need something to accommodate that i did actually purchase a six by eight you know from the um from ali but i decided that 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 size did not work for me last year and so i said you know what no I need to find something smaller. I was going to pick the 4x6, but then I saw this one, so here we are. To um, actually to embellish the cover, I actually had little trees and actually had these little stars that came in the December kit from that I have that I'm going to be using, well, one of them, the Liz kit. Um, and I was going to add stars and whatnot, but once I added the December daily um, little logo from L Studio, I thought that this was perfect. Well... It just says December 2019, but you know. <laughs> so I thought it would be perfect because it's, you know, it's gold, it's reflective, and it's simple and just right. So let's jump into the pages so you guys can see what I did. Um, the collections that I've been using so far are, of course, Ali Edwards, L Studio, and a bit of um, creative, uh, in a creative bubble um, principles, as well as Felicity Jane uh transparencies which i totally loved and i knew i wanted to incorporate them because that is one thing that i want to do i want to have uh transparencies and then pictures behind it i think that that gives it a cool effect i had seen it last year and i was remembering that that was a detail that i wanted in my album this year these this is gonna be where my this is my first page this won't be page one this is just where i'll write my reason why I wanted to keep it simple and small, so I'll do some lines and handwrite in the back. Um, keep in mind, remember, as I said, the page protectors inside, they actually are um, five by eight and, and one quarter. So <laughs> I have to get creative this year, but I'm, I'm up to the challenge and I already love it. So this one was a full page. This was a, a one page protector, but I cut it. So I can put this tag in here and in this one, uh, this tag I'm gonna write about our elf because she comes actually the day after Thanksgiving. So I'll probably write something about her here and then stick that in and perhaps put the picture of her first day in the back and cut it and paste it here. This is one of the principles from Creative Bubble the this is uh the principles that i purchased are the three by eights i like that size and again that's another thing i want a lots of dimension in my album this year so you're gonna see different sizes tags and goodies that are already placed um inside the album so again this is a three by eight principles i just love the simplicity and just enough you know for us to enjoy the touches and what it looks like more transparencies the um, page protector, the since this is a um, uh, uh, eight by one quarter, each box is five by five, well, or approximately. So that's the pictures this year. I'll probably cut them out to be four by four and then do a border around them with cardstock or or one of the millions of papers that I bought because I've yeah I've I've bought plenty of Christmas cardstock and just pen and paper it's like funny I'm like oh my gosh am I gonna make one album or three <laughs> so more transparencies tags where I'll be telling more stories again three by eight transparencies this um I decided this is actually this was one of the page protectors in the six by eight album so I cut it so it'll have two rows to fit into here and this is um it has one two three four so there's eight and eight so um i don't know if perhaps i might just do a picture a day of our elf and stick her in here or maybe put one little square i think i probably put since i have so much embellishments i'll probably put embellishment and embellishment and then pictures of her days in here just to be able to incorporate her story more three by eight 
here. Um, uh, what I loved about this collection of the Creative Bubble is that she has lots of um, printables that you are able to write in. So I'm going to have my girls write on um, these so then I can have their handwriting in the album itself. More transparencies, more tags. I am loving it. The pictures are also going to be something different for me. I am going to uh, see if I can make a template. So that way when I am inserting the pictures, it'll be easy for me just to print it out and then just stick it in here. So I want more pictures than I have in the past because usually it'll just end up like spaces and then more cards. So that was the whole purpose of me having transparency so I can stick a card behind it and it's already still already embellished. This is one of Allie's uh, three by eights, the doubles that she had. So I figured since uh, if I would leave it open and it wouldn't fit in here, so then uh, I figured I can just fold it over. And this is one of the crepe paper buttons. So it worked perfectly. Again, another principle. I'll probably put a picture here because I have templates already to fit pictures. So uh, I got one, two, and then three. I can put the kids in here. Um, the, another thing that might be different this year than in the years past, my oldest, he's 21 and he'll be probably doing his own thing. So I will be mostly focusing on three of my kids instead of four. But of course, you know, when the oldest is here, he'll be incorporated in here as well. But I wanted to make sure that, you know, that I want to show the dynamic of how it changes. Because I know that there's been people that are saying, oh, I don't know what to do with December Daily. It seems repetitive. But every year is different. Even if you think you're doing the same thing, there's always something different that you can do. So perhaps, you know, everyone is looking for their red cup. And so you maybe perhaps went to, instead of going to the same location, the same Starbucks, you can write a story of the new Starbucks that you went I mean, that's a just, you know, ideas. But that I, I will share throughout um, the weeks that are coming how I changed up, you know, similarities that used to be um, throughout my other um, December dailies, how I changed it up to incorporate to our dynamics now. So as I say, um, another transparency. Um, there are some of the kits from Liz that are in here that I didn't cut. Um, I left, especially like this one, I know that the kids are doing crafts, so I will in, put two little pictures in there, make sure that they fit in there. And this is a four by six. And you can just use your hole punch and put it in there. This is another one. I use my uh, my tool, my memory, uh, memory keeping tool, so I can uh, close this pocket up. And these embellishments are so fun. These little trees are from uh, Crate Paper. Um, I actually have a project that I, um, I'm gonna do in another uh, little thing that I'll show you guys later. But I wanted to seal this up and then put a picture here. I think this is really fun. You can, you know, see that it's, <laughs> I didn't do a best job, but I think it gives it a personal touch. At least it's closed. <laughs> um, so yeah, three by six. This again, I cut it down. This was uh, in the other six by eight album. And now it's accommodated into here. Oh, what fun, more transparency. This one I have to seal, but because I wanted to put some more embellishments in there. So probably because um, I didn't get these little stars from uh, Felicity Jane yet. So I'm going to put some in there. More pages, three by four cards. Also, don't feel um, like you are basically locked into whatever you do to your foundation pages whatever you're doing this is to facilitate and make things easier for you um this year for me another thing that's different is that i'm working outside of the home so i won't be able to just have time to sit and work as you know i used to like making the foundation pages that's why i wanted to make sure that once i um got my album i basically have the bones set down so that way it will be a little bit easier because that's what's happened to me in the previous years i get frustrated and then i'll leave maybe i'll have like up to december 20th and then january 1st of course we start december daily i mean excuse me project life again and so that album stays there and i'm like oh my gosh i totally forgot so usually my albums to be honest my december daily albums i usually end up picking them up like a year later and then finishing off because I do take the pictures. I just leave them in there and then I totally forget, but <laughs> that's besides the point. But okay, am I the only one? I don't think so. Okay, so th this is another one with the small two by two squares. This will be another one. Um, these I'm gonna designate to be for Alice, um, the elf pictures. So that way she'll stick in there. Uh, as you can see also, 
uh, I don't have any numbers. I don't want to lock myself down to putting any numbers down as of yet. I will either put them on the pictures or as I go add the, an embellishment. I do have uh, cork numbers, also wood veneer numbers and stickers. So I'm gonna incorporate. I don't have just one specific way that I will be numbering the pages. More tags, more embellishments. This also was a larger page. I still have to score this because as you see, oops, I didn't. So I'm going to score this and close it to make sure that I'm able to fit my picture. More little embellishments from L Studio. These are actually, I believe these are from last year. So I have a stash. If you if you follow me on Instagram, then you might have seen that I have a box that I found of embellishments from last year that I said I'm going to use this year. Um, another one, more transparencies, tags. And this is like my most favorite thing I've done so far in this thing, besides my star. <laughs> Um, I went to Starbucks when they were giving out the red cups and I took, I just asked for a bag and then I cut it down and I added adhesive so it has enough rooms for the kids to add. I want them to do a wish list of things they want to do this December because now they're old enough to request things to do. So I'm going to stick it in here and then we'll see how many we can cross off for them. I'll probably move this into the front or we'll see what I do with it or perhaps I'll get more. I'll go to Starbucks and get more bags and incorporate or do something with this um in the back i don't know i wanted to see maybe perhaps i'll just paint it white i don't know we'll figure it out as we go more page protectors cards this i just like the aesthetic of it and since it's um, embossed it has a pretty touch so you know you might say oh i don't have anything to do to add for a day so perhaps you can just put a big number you know make sure that you use what you have because we're all so guilty of having so many things and then we don't use it. So this I loved. It was 25 cents, I think, when uh, the December daily um, order ordering um, period opened up. I, I just said, this is too cute. So maybe I'll document um, the first real snow in December because I'm in New York and they're saying it's going to snow this week. But that's another whole other story. <laughs> so perhaps I'll leave this here and then I'll write, uh, I'll do with some stickers or... Um, some puffy letters i'll put uh, first snow and then write the story and put it on the back more cards um as i said this these page protectors um the squares are five by five so i cut down my six by by four pages to make sure that they fit in here i just make sure that it would look nice and not cut off too much of the sentiment of the card itself this, I have um, a whole bunch of other tags. That's another thing I wanted to incorporate more tags. So this is from Allie as well. This, I love these large tags. They're like so much fun. So I figured I can also have the kids again once more. Or my husband writing in something. You know what? Yeah, my husband, he could write something in there. <laughs> um, more cards, transparencies. This is another um, little new page protector size that I wanted to try. This was, uh, it had four spots, four three by four pictures. So I cut it to half and then I will fold it and then I will see what I do. Either mad pictures or I just put the cards in there. It has a 25 in there, but there's an, a 25 that I want to use specifically. So I might use this for my project life. So we'll see more tags. I don't know what I'll do with this, but again, just building, just building more again this has a spot for me to perhaps do another one of uh, those uh with the crepe paper trees i might do that and then i'll add something else i don't know or do ribbon or something but again build your foundation pages so that way it facil facilitate what you're going to be doing and be able to record your memories as you you go this is the Santa page. I don't know if I, I may put the picture of the kids themselves when we go see Santa. Or I might just leave it alone. I'll put it in the front. I don't know. But I do love the Santa. It's so cute. More 3 by 8 This, remember, love this holiday. So it has, you know, little things that we do. More spots to write. And then the end, basically. So that is my foundation pages. I do still have a whole bunch of goodies as you can see these are my my basically my embell my embellishments there are numbers these are the um the wood veneer and other you can see like they're old already but you know what i like that they are distressed now <laughs> because it's been 
I think this 